Show done back at InfoCision Stadium. The Zip's about halfway through summer drills as they get ready for the season opener over Champaign-Urbana against the Fighting Illini of Illinois. Spending a few minutes with Bubba Arcelanian, young man out of Aurora. How's it going right now? I'll tell you, we're about halfway through uh, summer drills. A lot of enthusiasm out there. Yeah, you know, we're, we're competing in every position out there. You know, nobody's got a defined job yet. And, you know, we got another two days to go of camp, and everyone's busting their butt. What has Coach Arth and the defensive staff told you about your responsibilities, how they envision you playing this year? You know, I mean, I could be a multi-role guy. We're not defined with anything yet, and, you know, all jobs are up in the air. But, you know, anything can happen. There's been some outstanding linebackers play here at the University of Akron. A couple of them are playing on Sundays right now. What about uh, your future here? What are some of the goals you've set as an individual and as a team for the Zips? You know, I mean, for the team, you know, we're always trying to create turnovers, get the ball back to our offense. And, you know, for me, you know, I'm trying to become a starter. I mean, obviously, but other than that, you know, just be a good teammate, be there for, my other, for the guys and support them through everything. Of course, you're a mild-mannered guy off the field. How do you turn on the switch now to get into that defensive mode on game day? What are some of the things you do? You know, I mean, the night before, I'm, I'm sitting there. I'll watch highlight tapes about Ray Lewis and all those just big hits, you know, people making plays out in the field and just say, I want that to be me. Well, I'll tell you what, you've got a, a lot of linebackers out there right now. Uh, tell us a little bit about this group and some of the guys that are playing well besides yourself. You know, I mean, we got a great group of, group of guys, a lot of young guys, a lot of new guys, you know. But, you know, John Laco, he's really a leader out there. You know, he's he's our guy, you know, he's he's our leader. And, you know, we have transfer in Dimitri Watts. He's a great player, big guy, a lot of young guys with a lot of potential. And, you know, I think we'll have a lot of success in the next coming years. Talking about success, let's talk about your career over at Aurora with the Green Men. Well, you did everything up there for those guys, offense, defense. Uh, how much fun was it playing in Aurora, and what kind of football town is Aurora? You know, I mean, that's that's a football-oriented, you know, city. But, you know, there's nothing like the vet, you know, playing in front of a packed house and being able to go back, you know, you just know everybody, and everybody's eager, you know, for football season. So it's great going back there, seeing those guys, and hoping, you know, for the best success. Of course, you're one of the strongest players on this football team. Tell us about some of the uh, the maxes you've had on the weights. Yeah, I hit uh, 525 for six on squat, and then you know I think a three or a 415, 420 bench at one point, and then you know. So I mean, I'm really getting after in the weight room, trying to prove everything I can. Well, we're looking forward to you uh, falling right into the footsteps of some of the great linebackers that played here. So best of luck this year, and thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. Thank Kato you. Nelson now for the second year. I, I guess the chemistry is picking up as you guys play more together. For sure, for sure. Kato is probably one of the most talented quarterbacks I've ever seen. And um, what he could do with his feet, with his arm, like it's, it's, really, it's really rare. And, um, he, you know, he's getting into his leadership role. And he's getting more comfortable with it, you know, being the quarterback of the team. And um, I feel like, you know, he's doing a good job doing it. And he challenges me every day, you know. I make a, I mess up a play or something like that. He, he's on me. And, you know, that's a good relationship I would love to have with a quarterback every time. And I, I'm appreciative to have him. I made the comment after the spring that potentially I think Akron's wide receiver group could be as good as anybody in the conference. Tell us about some of the other guys that are playing well. Um, right now, uh, I like I like the way Jew's coming along, um, Julian Hicks. Um, I like the way Mike Matheson, one of our slot receivers, and Boogie Knight. He he's a guy who just got a scholarship in the spring, and he's doing a good job of you know uh, taking the most, making the most of his opportunity. You know, um, it was a blessing to get his scholarship, and I'm happy for him. And I loved what he's doing on the field. You know. He's a hard worker. He's probably one of the hardest workers on this football team. And, you know, and uh, it's, it's fun to see him compete every day. And, you know, the rest of the guys on, on, in the receiving corps, they do a great job of trying to compete. And we push ourselves every day to, to be the best. And, and um, it's just a lot of fun to compete, you know, against the defense. You know, they got a lot of great defensive guys on the other side. And when we compete every day, it's just we want to be the best and we want to make sure that the guys on the other side are the best. And at the end of the day, we go get wins on Saturdays. You're not that far away from the opening game out at Illinois, another Big Ten team. As we told a lot of people, you can't sneak up on the Big Ten anymore. You guys put it to Northwestern last year, but it's still a big challenge opening the season uh, on the road against a Big Ten team. Right, right. I think um, I think we're ready for a challenge like that. I mean, we have a different mindset. We expect ourselves to play it to the best of our ability every week. 
and that's that's the goal every time we step out on the field. And you know, Illinois, Big Ten team, it's going to be a competitive game, and um, you know, I think we're going to be up for the challenge, and you know. But as I say, play the game. There you go. Nate, you're having an outstanding uh, summer workout. We're looking forward to a big season from you, so thanks for stopping by. No problem. Thank you. Okay. Nate Stewart, our wide receiver out of Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Reminder, the first edition of Zips Football Weekly with Coach Arth will be on Tuesday, August the 27th. So mark that down. If you also would like to buy some season tickets, form a group outing or individual game tickets, you can call 888-99-ACRON. Joe Dunn for the Zips Digital Network.